This shit is funky. Woohoo! Hear that shit, Mike on the background? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? The King's back. Crypto King's back. Give you guys another update on the crypto market and Bitcoin. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, guys? Happy Wednesday, I think it is. Shit. I'm going to fix this light real quick. What's going on, y'all? So, real quick, what I see with the uh, Bitcoin market. Looks like DXY just pumped up again. So, what I tell you guys, when DXY pumps up, that means it's bad news for us, guys. And I think that's what's happening right now. DXY looks like it's pumping up. Bitcoin is going down. So, it's stocks. So, it's all other cryptos. Everything is dropping. Like I said from the last video, I told you there's more downside to go, and it looks like there's more downside to go. I told you last video went down to 37 Bitcoin, said so I might bounce up to 40k, maybe 39. Did exactly that, it went up to 39k, and now it's dropping back down. Uh, I think it just recently hit 36k. I think it's got more downside to go, guys. Unfortunately, that's what I see. That's what I'm telling you guys. Um, yeah, it just sucks. The market looks like it's going down with all this news. Uh, Ukraine's about to go to war. Russia, I mean, with Ukraine, that's going to, you know, change certain things also with the market, uh, with supply chains and stuff, with oil going up, oil goes up. Well, then everything is going to go down. Market's going to go down. Um, it's just how it works. It's weird how that works, but um, that's just how it is throughout history. The price of oil goes up. You know, shit just, you know, supply, you know, the cost of supplies to get a ship and everything just costs more. And uh, people stop investing in certain assets and saving money, you know, they pay for certain things. So, fucked up so looks like it's happening guys anyways um let's get right to it i'm sure you guys what i see in the charts you say okay uh dxy dxy just popped up this 96 dollars again 96.3 so like i said guys it was on this green line for a long time dancing dancing in between it broke below it went above it broke below it again so i thought that was good news for us but then it decided to fucking break above it again now it looks like it's about to go continue above it okay you know, like I said, this this screen support line was held support for a long time, which I still think it's very fishy because look, it's look how perfectly it held support, you know, since June of uh, last year, okay, and it bounced on it like you know September again, November, and like I said, for the first time it broke below, but I guess that was just a fake out because now it looks like someone shoots up again. Looks like it wants to shoots up, shoot up, okay. Um, yeah, that's the that's the news. I told you guys last time on my last video, I said this long wick right here, you know, usually signifies wants to shoot up. So it looks like it's doing that right now. So this long wick right here, I posted out a few days ago, and I said that it's usually a sign of it wanted to go up, and it looks like it's doing it. Now, look, this green candle is, you know, literally above this uh, green line right here. So looks like it wants to go up again. Like I said, guys, if this goes up, Bitcoin crypto goes down. So the stocks. Let's check out SP500. Oh, S oh. S and P just dropped down to exactly where I said it was gonna go to this last touch point right here. It fucking dropped there, like you know, it dropped exactly. Damn, I'll look at my last videos, guys, and I've been saying that for a fucking past few days and weeks now. I can say when I saw this double top right here, beginning of February, boom, boom, right here, I was like, oh, double top equals a drop, guys, and that's exactly what it did a double top. It's the reason why I show you guys S and P five hundred the stocks because usually this determines where Bitcoin's gonna go. So if this is doing this, Bitcoin's definitely gonna do the same fucking shit, guys. Okay, so it came down to this bottom right here. I think it's going to go lower. Uh, I think it technically, did it break below it? Let me see. Let me double check to see if it broke below it. Uh, I can't tell, actually. It's really tough. Literally, literally to the T. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Slightly below it. Slightly below it. If you can see, 42, 42, 3, 42, 2, 1. So it already broke below it, guys. So, yes, I see more downside, you know. So just... Uh, uh, hold your horses, guys. SP going down. Guess what? Bitcoin's gonna follow. It's gonna do the same shit, guys. SP just did that to hit its bottom point. I'm almost positive Bitcoin's gonna come down and also hit its bottom point over here. You know, so that means this this right here was a double top, kind of similar to what S and P did. Maybe it's not the exact double top, but see how similar their charts are. Hit this bottom, came up double top to a drop. S and P. Look at Bitcoin trailing, doing almost the same thing, guys. See that? At this bottom right here, it came out double top, boom, boom. Now going for a drop. Yes, for sure, guys. I'm almost positive Bitcoin's going down to 33, 32K right over here to his previous bottom right here. And I think it's going to be more downside, guys. Unfortunately, it's going to come down here, maybe bounce from here, maybe a back up to 37, 36, like you know, possibly right here, and then drop down a little bit more. Not a little bit, but it's a lot more. Like I said, I see possibly, th I see 28K, guys. I really see that being the next stop. Almost for sure, um, it should hit there probably 28th of March, something like that. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know why this, you know, this line right here, these two, this cross section right here, like you know, I see it's a perfect cross section. 
like I said, it's, it's the green line right here. It's been dancing on since the beginning of COVID. You know, it's been bouncing, bouncing forward to the moon. You know, I feel like it's when it wants to come and revisit that green line. And I think it might come visit exactly where this red line is. It's green red, red line intersects because this is also where, when it first came up, this is where it bounced from. See, it bounced over here in January, and it bounced again before making new all-time highs over here in June. So I think it's going to come and bounce on that again one more time, literally exactly on this date, around March, end of March, you know, March 30th, around then. Maybe even sooner. Maybe even sooner, guys. It's possibly sooner. So if it breaks that, though, which is also possible. If it breaks 29K, 30K, well, guys, then yes, for sure. This is not an extended bull run. This is, this is we're going, we're heading into the bear market, definitely, for sure. And uh, that's bad news. But I'm telling you, that's the truth right now. You know, if it breaks 29K, then we're, yeah, we're going to go down. So the next stop would be 20K, my 19, 20K at this peak. And then after the next stop would be right here, 13K. Okay, I see that definitely, definitely happening if we break 29K, guys. So, just letting you guys know, if you know that is what I see. Look at Bitcoin, it's already on its way down right now as we speak, literally. You know, from this previous uh, resistance over here, support. It's fucking, you know, break below it, came back, and now it's about to break below it. So, for sure, next stop, 32K, guys. That's so what I see with Bitcoin and the rest of the market. Ethereum is going to drop 2,500, of course. Cardano, everything is going to drop, basically. Bitcoin drops and everything drops, okay? So, so then you guys know. So, so I see you guys, unfortunately, with the market. There's more downside. Uh, like I said, with Bitcoin, crypto, with DXY decided to shoot up, everything is going to go down. So that's what's happening, guys. So, you know, but, you know, those who said you wanted to buy the dip, well, there you go. Good time. You know, it might be a better time soon if, you know, decide to go down some more. Bitcoin goes to thir- uh, 28K, which I think it is, then for sure everything is going to drop. And if it goes down below that, well, then fuck, everything is going to fucking obliterate. Okay, guys? <laughs> Just to let you guys know, okay? So, that's what I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys like the content, you guys find this helpful, just give me a quick like. It takes two seconds. There you go, right? It didn't hurt too much. Give me a comment. Say, what's up, King? I appreciate it. Anything. One word, two words, thumbs up, whatever. Anything. You know, appreciate it all. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and uh, turn your notification on because I'm going to give you guys updates on the market, crypto, and Bitcoin every single day, 365 days this year. Uh, I'm going to read the charts and check it. You know, so you guys don't have to check it all the time, you know, keep you guys updated. You know? And that's about it, guys. Uh, that's all I got. Till next time, Crypto King is out. Peace.